two, three, four, five, twelve, doesn't matter. But this is it. And right now, there is a sale. And when that sale ends, they're going to end up being $225 a pair shipped. Now, what territory does that put them in? Well, it puts them over the price of TX. It puts them nearly double the brick. They don't suck a lot. Oh, God. There's a red blinking light on my head. You're getting fur on the speakers. Have a seat. Let's talk about the HVL ones. Five and a quarter, mid bass driver. I can't deal with this. And right now there's a sale. If you're, I don't know when the uh, cat is ending. I don't know when the cat seal is ending. You're gonna ruin this video seven times, aren't you? I'll lock you in the bathroom if I have to. This is a supplementary video of why you don't want cats and nice audio equipment. Chewbacca, stop. She actually did. Lay down. Brush your tail against the tweeter and everything. That's perfect. She's dusting. Someone's getting locked in the bathroom. These are the HVL ones by Wavecrest Audio, and you've never heard of them. Why have you ever heard of them? Because every company starts somewhere and they start small. Now, used to be when you did that, you started literally on a corner shop somewhere selling, you know, plywood speakers out of, you know, next to crackheads. But, thanks to the internet, you don't even have to have a storefront. You can start a business in your basement. I'm not sure where Wavecrest Audio started. Usually it's a basement or garage. But this is their first product. This is their only product. The HVL1s. And you could buy them individually, or a pair, or three at a time, or four, or five, or twelve, depending on what your needs are. Now, they're not here because they suck. They're not on my vintage Pioneer receiver because they suck. I haven't had them for two weeks and enjoyed the hell out of them because they suck. They don't suck. Their big selling point is that they are focused on mid-range, which is something that is lacking in many, many, many speakers. Uh, a lot of them do very crisp, clear highs, and they get down as low as they can, and then the mid-range sort of just happens wherever it happens. Not these. These are different. And you may think since they're a boutique company that they're going to be a million dollars. Well, they're not. Uh, if you buy them individually, I believe they're $100 a piece. If you buy them as a pair, they're $200 plus shipping. I'm not sure what the shipping is on a single but I know if you got a pair and shipping, it's two twenty-five for the pair plus shipping. Now, what does that put them in league with? Well, that's more expensive than the TX that I absolutely love. That's nearly twice as much as the SX6s that I absolutely love. Uh, we're not quite up into the HTD level 3 levels of expenditure, but... These might sound better than a lot of those. Because they're designed to be super accurate and because they're designed to have a nice, warm, deep mid-range, they stand out. Let me explain. Five and a quarter driver, one inch furrow, furrow fluid mid... Ah, oh, fuck. 